What are some really dangerous things most people don't realize are dangerous? Honestly, I'll tell you guys, I thought about a lot of things after reading these stories. Watch the video and write your opinion in the comments. Story 1. Visiting the Wrong Doctor The general public will never know what makes a good doctor and what makes a bad one. The standard of care you get from one hospital to the next can be life-changing. Story 2. Water, current, and waterfalls are to two that kill people all the time. Even a gentle-looking river can be very deceptive if there's enough water moving along. People, cars, etc. Rip currents at the beach, flash floods. Water seems gentle, but it gives zero F at sea kiss about anything in its path. The top of waterfalls are super deceptive with the combination of powerful current and slippery rocks that look like a beautiful place to grab a picture. But they can kill you in an instant. Story 3. Antifreeze. It's way more poisonous than you probably think it is, and it has a sweet taste that attracts cats and children. If your cat laps up a teaspoonful, they're pretty much already dead. Story 4. You know how the basic answer is social media? Well, I'd like to up that. A dangerous thing people get into so casually every day is arguing with randoms. It gets addictive seeing no tiffs, seeing upvotes or likes, and reposts. Pretty soon you start postponing work because you have to correct someone or you have to reply ASAP. You lose sleep. You wake up frustrated. You randomly lash out on your loved ones, maybe even your pet. You develop anger and attention problems. Story 5. Dihydrogen monoxide. Absolutely lethal when you breathe it. It disables all electronics immediately and irreparably oxidizes most metals. Yes, it's everywhere. It has been detected to be in most foods and beverages, and research has shown the human body is often saturated with large concentrations of the stuff. Story 6. There's a newish trend among woodworkers called fractal burning or Lichtenberg burning, where you use electricity to create this cool lightning like burns across wood. Problem is, it's extremely dangerous. There has already been at least one person who died trying to do it. Probably more, but I only remember hearing of one specifically. There's a ton of videos of everyday people doing this, but if you slip up just slightly, you're going to electrocute yourself. Story 7. Bites. From both animals and humans. Oh, it's just a spider bite. It can't do me much. I realized a week after that sentence that it can indeed do me much. I spent two weeks with a slightly inflated red and irritating arm. There's also rabbis, blood-transmitted diseases, and blood-borne pathogens. And people often don't realize the jaw is the strongest muscle on the human body. I tried to bite someone's ear out of rage and almost ripped it off his head. There's a bunch of reports of assaults where someone got bitten and there was serious damage done by a simple bite. My favorite example is a thief trying to steal someone's bike, and the bike owner started fighting the thief. It ended up by the owner biting the man's fingers and bitting off two of his fingers and ripping his skin all along the other fingers of this same hand. Story 8. Quading or four-wheeling. It's not uncommon in my area for some feller and his friends to take these vehicles through some forest or some shit, only to end up overturning them and causing one of them to have a brain injury so bad, the docs have to ask the family their thoughts on organ donation. Story 9. The area from the corners of your mouth to the bridge of your nose is known as the triangle of death, and you should avoid popping any pimples in this area. Due to the connectivity proximity with the brain, an infection of that area can lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis, CST, or a blood clot in your cavernous sinuses. If you have a zit in that area, leave it alone. Story 10. Escalators. The torque produced to lift dozens of people and their luggage will not stop for your limbs. Watch your kids, carry your pets, don't be distracted. There are emergency stop buttons at the top and bottom. If you see a problem such as a person falling or loose metal or glass, use the button. Better delayed than traumatized, maimed, or dead. Story 11. Fragranced products are toxic. Vention. Data were collected in June 2016 using an online survey with a representative national sample, an equal sign 1098. Overall, 33% of Australians report health problems, such as migraine headaches and asthma attacks when exposed to fragranced products. Of these health effects, more than half, 17.1%, could be considered disabling under the Australian Disability Discrimination Act. Additionally, 7.7% .7 of Australians have lost workdays or a job due to illness from fragranced product exposure in the workplace, 
16.4% reported health problems when exposed to air fresheners or deodorizers, 15.3% from being in a room after it was cleaned with scented products, and 16.7% would enter but then leave a business as quickly as possible due to fragranced products. About twice as many respondents would prefer that workplaces, healthcare facilities and professionals, hotels and airplanes were fragrance-free rather than fragranced, while 73.7% were not aware that fragranced products, even ones called green and organic, emitted hazardous air pollutants. 56.3% would not continue to use a product if they knew it did. This is the first study in Australia to assess the extent of adverse effects associated with exposure to common fragranced products. It provides compelling evidence for the importance and value of reducing fragranced product exposure in order to reduce and prevent adverse health effects and costs. Story 12. Definitely alcohol. Nurse here, most people don't realize the damage even two drinks a day does to your mind body. I've seen so many patients in their early 40s with liver disease. It can be a silent killer, and many don't realize how bad it is until it's pretty far gone. Story 13. Benzos and alcohol. Went from, hey, this feels great, to waking up back home with one vague memory of my parents in their 70s with me in an ER. I had apparently attempted to walk to get more booze and fell off a six-inch step in front of my own apartments and hit my head. Story 14. Riding electric scooters. I see people zipping around my city every day, easily pushing 25 to 30 miles per hour with no helmet, no pads, no gloves, wearing flip-flops or slip-on-nothing shoes. People apparently don't realize how badly knees, elbows, hands, feet, and heads get fucked up hitting pavement going that fast. Story 15, low-head dams, literally drowning machines. Mount Washington in spring or fall, even experienced hikers end up dying there like every year. Story 16. I guess people themselves, I always felt people including me think they are doing normal things or behaving and doing things to others a certain way as personally acceptable and conventional. However, that for most cases happens to be against grounds of general morality and humanity which is a very disturbing thing for someone if they get stuck with it for longer time, like through relationships or in governance having authority over others. Story 17. Dogs, even small ones. Dog teeth can puncture skin easily, and they have a lot of bacteria in their mouths which can cause infection. They are also animals who can flip out with zero warning, no matter how well they are trained. I love my dog to bits. He's the biggest, fluffiest, cuddliest boy, but I will never forget that he could really injure me if he wanted to. Story 18. Riptides. I mean, people still just think they can go into the water and try it out shit even with a life jacket. My son and myself were in Cancun. It was January 2023. The water was rough. My son is a great swimmer. I am average. He had a hard time getting out of the water but was fine. Not even really deep. Just past his knees. So I tried. Fuck me. Luckily a man, strong build, and his wife were beside me. I was only past my ankles. Sort of below knees. This man, his wife, my son had to pull me out. Scared the fucking shit out of me then full of sand in my lower bathing suit, LOL, had to go to my room and shower. These things are deadly. Don't try and think, oh, it's okay, just my little story. Have a great day, everyone. Story 19. Air is very dangerous, especially when going at such a high speed in the car. If you do not believe me, look up the 1999 Mercedes-Benz incident at Le Mans. That thing had next to no downforce or lip in the front, and all of it was being used for the spoiler in its back. That pushed the car down just enough to do three somersaults in the air before crashing off track. Story 20 Dust Devil's Eddies in the Desert I was walking across a massive college parking lot in Yuma, Arizona, once upon a time, because my car was parked way out at the farthest end of the lot. It was probably 110 degree F. As I walked, I suddenly saw a giant sand tornado coming right at me, all I could do was cover my face with my arms and crouch down. The eddy passed over me, knocking me over. The gravel hitting my arms stung like a bitch and drew blood in a few places. Finally, when it was over, I picked myself up and brushed all the sand and dust off of myself, then continued on my trek toward my car. But that's not the end of the story. When I finally arrived at my car, I reached for the driver's side door handle. 
What I hadn't realized until that precise moment was that the monstrous dust devil had charged me like a Tesla battery when it passed over me. Anyways, my hand was about three feet from the door handle when a massive bolt of fucking lightning shot from my hand to the car door. The static shock let out a bang like a rifle being fired. I fell backwards onto my ass and I couldn't move my arm for a good 20, 30 seconds. It was not a comfortable experience by any stretch of the imagination. I cannot even put into words how much I thoroughly despise the desert and its intensely hot, oven-like temperatures and its lip-mutilating dryness and all the desert people who actually choose to live there of their own volition. I was stationed there and had no choice. Story 21. Childbirth. Maternal mortality rates in the U.S. are something like 40 for every 100K births. I almost died giving birth when my uterus ruptured. It was a normal, healthy pregnancy with zero complications or risks like a previous cesarean section. Story 22, dogs. Yes, your pet is adorable. They also have massive teeth and strong jaws and can kill. Even small dogs can do damage and often have less training and worse manners. Story 23. Ignoring little health problems. Because even if you've been sick for a while now, you can pick yourself up by your bootstraps and power through. That's how people get things like sepsis and pneumonia. Story 24 Dishwashers I took a fire and household accident investigation class, and you'd be shocked by how many incidents are caused by them. It's mainly because the recall notices tend to go to original builder or installer, not the renter or homeowner. They are the second leading cause of appliance fires, injuries, and deaths. Another shocking one is carpets and rugs. Average annual injuries. 939,673. Average annual deaths, 972. Story 25, roller skating. I recently started taking my youngest daughters to the roller rink. I hadn't been in years, but always remembered it being fun with my older kids. People were dying out there on the rink. Kids, adults, everyone was just slamming so hard. I could tell half of these people had never skated in their life, and they're just out there eating shit left and right. I guess they didn't realize you can fall really fucking hard and get seriously injured if you don't know how to do it properly. Story 26. Air pollution. We have to pretend it isn't dangerous because there's nothing we can do to escape it, and we have to live our lives despite it. Not even moving to a rural area is going to protest you from it, but it really is just so dangerous. On days when air pollution is bad, heart attacks increase. The others are common respiratory viruses like influenza and the common cold. People talk a lot about how dangerous COVID is, but other respiratory viruses are not safe either. Story 27. Carbon monoxide. You cannot see or smell it, and you only get general symptoms such as a dizziness or headache, which you could easily attribute to other things in your home. It will kill you if the levels are high enough. There is so much press about having a smoke detector in your house, but you also need a carbon monoxide detector. Story 28. The general work experience right now in the United States of America. I have moved jobs a lot lately and everybody is mad. They can't make enough money and they're taking it out on others. People have three jobs and are stressed out. Because of Trump, Caucasians have become more vocal and racist in recent years. I had to deal with a white supremacist for two years. It was really scary. Also, high levels of depression at work. I know people who had a full-time job at a hospital and were living out of their car. It is a lot worse than people realize. Story 29. I don't think people understand how scary brain aneurysms are. Like a quarter, I believe, of people die within 24 hours of rupture. The next stage will die from complications after surgery. And if you're fortunate enough to survive, the next stage is permanent brain damage. Story 30. I cannot get my head around people's nonchalant views on general anesthesia and its use for elective slash cosmetic surgery. We don't even totally understand how or why it works. My son had to have it for surgery as a child, and the rabbit hole I dove into is kind of surprising. I've never had to be under and couldn't imagine electing to do it. Story 31. Everyday household items can be poisonous if not handled correctly. Medications, cleaning supplies, and even seemingly harmless things like batteries can cause harm if ingested or used incorrectly. Dehydration is a serious risk, especially in hot weather. 
People can underestimate how much fluid they lose through sweating and not drink enough to replenish it. Sun exposure can lead to sunburn, premature aging, and even skin cancer. Even on cloudy days, UV rays can penetrate the skin. Sitting for long periods is bad for your health. It can increase your risk of blood clots, heart disease, and even some cancers. Secondhand smoke can cause serious health problems for non-smokers, including lung cancer, heart disease, and stroke. Story 32 After a car crash, go to the hopsital. You can suffer internal damage that might not kill you straight away, but could develop to be fatal in an hour or two. Due to adrenaline, you might not even feel it at the time, so better safe than sorry. Same for drowning. If your lungs are flooded with water and you get resuscitated, seek medical help immediately. The water can wash off the inner coating of your lungs and this can cause them to collapse. Lesser known or really cared about is cuts. Disinfect any and all cuts, all of them. Doesn't matter if it's a tiny 2 mm cut, if it gets infected and the flesh turns necrotic, say goodbye to your finger, hand, or even arm. Story 33 Driving, traveling by automobile. Having been in couple bad accidents and being a first responder, do not take your safety for granted. Shit happens all the time. If there were markers for every place a person has died or been severely injured, you would be terrified. Story 34. Wondering about young living and the oil business. They encourage people to consume them. Sell more oils. Problem is, a lady I know who did this now has stomach cancer. Add on the oil reps show up to help her cure it with, you guessed it, more oils at a lot more money. Story 35. Hot liquids. I've had multiple friends end up in the hospital with gigantic scalding injuries because they were careless, or not quite careful enough, around hot water or oil. Burn injuries only have to be palm-sized to be potentially very dangerous, and if you spill a whole kettle full of boiling water over yourself, you can easily get it on like 20 to 30% of your body, which can be fatal if untreated. Story 36. Water streams. As a kid, I almost drowned in a stream that was not deeper than 60 centimeters and most likely then developed fear of water, especially at night and places where I can't see the bottom. I wanted to cross the river. It was more like a creek. And midway, it was too strong, so I slipped and fell down. Water was just deep enough above my mouth so when I tried pushing myself with my arm off the bottom, I couldn't get any air as it was covering my mouth. If I tried to stand up, it would just push me to fall again. I would stand and fall, stand and fall. After some time, I managed to stand somehow, went out and cawing, and my heart beating like never before, realized how dangerous it is. When I got older, I hate swimming at night. If I can't see what I am dealing with, I hate touching bottom and generally hate swimming if I can't see the bottom. Story 37, other people. Seriously. People are motivated by a lot of different things and our perspectives are pretty skewed. Often we make excuses for their behavior and actions thinking they're on the same page as we are, but nah, some people just like to hurt others for the simple fact that they're hurt themselves. If you let a person like that in your life, they will literally chip away at you until there's no you left. It's fucking diabolical and frankly disturbing. Never stop taking care of yourself and make sure you always have a solid foundation of self under you. People will prey on you and you'll let them if you're kind or emotionally compromised. When you see someone treat others poorly, just remember that you're just someone else to them as well. And you're just one bad situation away from being that other person. Story 38 Infused Oils Infusing olive oil with things that grow in the ground, such as garlic, can kill you. Botulism bacteria is very common in soil, but it's not dangerous to ingest soil-contacting foods because it doesn't produce its deadly toxin in aerobic, oxygen-containing environments. Only in anaerobic, oxygenless environments does that happen. Oil doesn't contain dissolved oxygen, and so if kept at room temperature, botulism in the garlic will start producing toxin. It's fine as long as you cook the garlic first or raise the temperature of the oil sufficiently right after adding the garlic. Once the toxin is formed, simply cooking the oil may not be enough since it takes a higher temperature to denature the toxin. It's also likely fine if you keep it refrigerated and use it before too long.